and welcome back to uh, World of Everything. And today we are going to be making two miniature crafts. One is going to be a pizza box, which we're going to make now with the red set. And the other one's going to be with the pink set, which is going to be uh, in the remaining half of the video. So, to start, you're going to need one piece or two pieces of cardstock based on how many people are going to be doing this craft. Since it's only me and my sister Emma, we're just going to be doing this. My sister Emma is just going to help me, like, you know, guide mm -hmm. you. And she's just going to be watching. Yeah, because so. I still don't know how to make one. Okay, so basically with this, you're going to cut a rectangle of the same dimensions. Two rectangles to be specific. If you might not, if you might forget the size, what you guys can do is trace over it. So basically you have this, right? You can put the other top rectangle that you already cut on the rest of the paper from the corner and then you're just going to write the dimensions over there, like and trace it, and then you can just cut it along the lines. And once you have both of your rectangles set up, what you're going to do is first check if there's any excess or if one rectangle is bigger than the other. And if you do have some excess, like how I do a little bit, not too much, you can just cut it there and move the rest to the side because you won't need any more paper, but you will need the scissor and a glue stick and some gel pens or like normal pens of your choice to decorate the top of your box. So, with this, we're going to cut four squares on each corner of the rectangle. So it should be like this, the square should be like cut like that, and then we take it off, and then you should have it like that. Don't pull it too hard or it's gonna like, um, flip. It's gonna rip. So pull it lightly. Because you know whenever uh, you're cutting, you don't want to cut way too much. So what so whenever you're pulling, just pull small when you're trying to take out the squares. And then you should ultimately get this type of shape. And then next you're gonna do that same thing, same thing. So you can other. put this thing aside. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a shape, a hexagon or something to me. That's not a hexagon. That's definitely not a hexagon. Like, like in the camera, it looks like that. Yeah, it's definitely not a hexagon. Yeah. Emma, just, uh, yeah, you might need some shape shape knowledge. Yeah. Definitely not a hexagon. And only in third grade, but I'm moving. She's only in third grade, <laughs> and she's just joking. That's just a joke. She does know a bunch of shape. That is not a hexagon, and she it like, that. This, It looks like it to me. It looks like, oh, it looks like a Minecraft person. Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so... After the discussion of Minecraft and <laughs> stuff, we're going to move on to the next. So we have this, two of these. Okay, so you're gonna bend them. Like, you know, as uh, shown, you're just gonna be bending them like that for each side. Just bend them both sides. And yeah, one more thing. Remember to cut your squares, like, you know, the same length. And then once you have bent them, bent them, you're just going to unfold them, and then they should ultimately look like these, like this box, basically like like those two boxes. And then we're just going to stick them. So you're gonna take this glue stick, or you can just take liquid glue. Honestly, I would rather opt for the glue stick. <laughs> yes. Okay. So with this box. You see uh, the long rectangle side on the outside of the box. You're just going to glue that. And don't do that for both of the rectangles. I'm warning you, don't do that for the both of the Only rectangles. one of them, you're gonna do that. Only and then one. the other corresponding rectangle, what you're gonna do is, you see that, right? Find the uh, matching, like, you know, long rectangle. It can be either side, but like, which side you want. Don't, if you, if you want your box to be like uh, this type, 
You have to glue the small part. Yeah. That was kind that. of off, like, the camera part. So what she's talking, if you want it, like, uh, this way, like, vertical, then you should, like, use the smaller rectangles and glue it there. But we glued the big one, so we have to use this one. Yeah. And then, since we have this one, unfold that, unfold that like that, unfold that, and then glue the unfold piece over there. And then glue uh, both of the parts where it has glue, like that. And then fold them properly in. And voila, look at this, it's so cute. And then you can just like write anything like with a pink pen or something. Just, like, you can so. write a hike, a pizza, anything. Anything. Because you know it doesn't have to be a pizza box. Like you can make a, a present box, a, a donut, donut box, box. Mm -hmm. any box. And then it doesn't have to be small like this either. You can you know. And you can put you can cut out mini stuff and put it inside that. You mini can put box. like mini pizzas or something. And if you're making a present for someone, you can take a more bigger piece of cardstock, make the same things, and then put a really cute present. And really everyone's gonna enjoy this because these are really cute. And we're going to head over to our next craft, which is the mini notebooks. Uh, so I'm just back with the stapler. And in the meantime, when I pause the video, I actually cut the pink sheet into a perfect square. So then I can have my dimensions good, but you don't have to. So basically for the mini notebook, you're just gonna cut the square in half and then take which side you want the best for the book cover. I'm probably gonna take the small one and then fold it in half, fold it in half. Fold it in half. And then you the excess away. And yeah, also for the mini notebook, you also need another sheet of paper, white sheet of paper. And then you can cut the book cover um, a bit more on the right if you would like to make it more you know, like this shape instead of a more wider shape. And once you have this, you are going to cut a sh uh, trim of paper. So you're gonna cut the paper. Just cut like, cut forward, make a long piece of paper, rectangle. So it should ultimately look like this. And then see if it fits in your notebook. And if it does not, then you can cut another one. So I'll just cut another one. Because sometimes, you know, just like us, we only take one take, not two or three takes, because we want to be very like if we have any mistakes then we can just show it to you right in the video and not like you know behind the scenes so once you have the paper that fits perfectly with yours you are going to fold it and don't fold it in half so first get the paper get the paper to the middle of here and then fold it there so you know so you know uh, how much you need to fold it for each like fold. So, okay, so now that you have that, you're going to fold it zigzag. So, like this, and that, and this. So, keep on folding it after you've had got your measurements from how much to fold it in the book. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you might have mistakes again, like, you know, if the paper doesn't fit or if the paper just, like, you know, not enough for another fold, you can just cut it. And then once you have that, you can put it in your book. And most probably you might have excess like this. So before you staple it, you're going to cut the excess off. You want to cut the excess off. And when you cut the excess off, you'll have your papers like this, like, you know, you would have it like, you know, one like this, and you'll have um, how many papers that you, like, you know, 
if the length of the string paper that you cut is longer, you might have more than four, but I have four. So, take one, put it in the middle of the book. Take another one, another one of these that looks like two pages, and then stack it on top of each other. Stack it on top of each other. And then close the book to make sure each page is formatted and set up correctly. And then once you have all the pages like this, you're going to take your stapler. So turn it back to the book cover side. You're going to take your stapler, uh, put it all the way into the middle. So make sure your stapler, um, wherever you're stapling it, like goes all the way to the middle of the you know fold the spine area and then staple it and once you staple it you will see the staple over here and then the staple over here so you don't have to like staple it the other way where you just you know staple the actual book from here so basically you would have to put the book in the big rectangle again like unfold the book and then do it so remember do not do it like this because that's just not going to mm -hmm. do it great so then you have your book. So basically you can just um, flip the pages and to make it more uh, realistic, then you can like, you know, glue the first and last pages to the book cover itself. So let's do that. Let's actually do that. And then there you have it guys. Uh, yeah, here is your book. It looks super duper cute. And then you can decorate it with your pen over here. It's a book. You can decorate it. You can like write something on it, like a heart or like, you know, something. I decided to put a heart on it. It looks so cute, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with the book miniature notebook and yep and the pizza boxes which are also super duper cute and we'll be posting more videos like these soon